In today's video, I would like to introduce to you an exciting project at the very heart of downtown Toronto, very close to Yang and Dundas. This is a pre-launch of eight, um, newest pre-construction condos in downtown Toronto. You can't ask for more than downtown than this. We are minutes away from Ryerson University and also walking distance to University of Toronto. The location here is close to Dundas and Yang Street, where Dundas Square right in the corner. This is a 69 stories and 800 plus units pre-construction in downtown Toronto. The previous clip is me at the earlier launch of the 8 Elm Street in the presentation center at the intersection of Yang and Elm Street. A quick fact about this pre-construction is that it took the developer a long 8 years to get approval for this project in such a prime location in downtown. Prime location always come with a caveat. There are going to be many obstacles on the way which include the Heritage Building at the corner of Elm and Yang. The site will preserve the James Fleming Heritage Building at its base and the building will be built on top. Another obstacle which can also be benefit is the proximity of the subway station right underneath the site. However, the builder will also mean that it needs to get approved by the city so that it won't affect the underground subway tunnel. Many people have heard about the newly implemented inclusionary zoning policy, which requires new buildings to set aside at least 10% of their space for affordable housing. As a result, we can expect higher construction costs, which may eventually be passed on to the buyers. The good news is that the 8 Elm wasn't included in this inclusionary zoning policy since this application process took place before it was in effect. But they need to contribute a fund of about 2 million towards the project. At least the 8 Elm would not be required to build affordable housing on the site. Originally, the 8 Elm was proposed to be an 84 story building. However, due to Sick Kids Hospital on Bay Street, which has a landing spot for a helicopter for emergency, which doesn't allow any buildings to be higher than 69 floor in such that it won't interfere with the flight path. Therefore, the 8M was approved to be only 69 story high and with 815 units. This project took 8 long years to get approved and I'm sure there were a lot more obstacles than I could have imagined for a pre-construction in such a desirable part of downtown Toronto. Few developers could afford to wait so long, both financially and in terms of lost productivity. This is the time when a reputable, trustworthy developer is essential. This 8 Elm could happen in large part because of reserved properties and capital development, both of which have huge portfolios that have been in development for more than 40 years. Some of the most recent projects from reserved properties such as Untitled, Line 5, and Rise, and from capital development with 11 Yorkville, Asura, and E2 condos. Now let's get through the top reason why to buy at 8 Elm Street from the brochure provided by the developer. This is 8 Elm on Yang Street. As you can see this is the center of attention and here we have Simu Liu, the celebrity collaboration of A.L. Mon Yang. If you are a fan of him, here you are. He is part of the design team which have pretty much influenced to the design and also the color theme of the building. And here are more rendering of him being involved in the process. And here are some of the color themes of A.L. Mon Yang. The 8 Elm is in the Elm Street and Yang, where you can see where this building is literally a block away from Eaton Center and the Thunder Square. Now on to the top reasons why to buy at 8 Elm. Reason number one, which is the central location on downtown on this beautiful street here. Right underneath you can see the heritage building in red bricks and the building of course going to be built on top of it. And here is the map of the site, 8 Elm on Yang Street, which is the Elm and Yang right here. And this is literally across the Toronto Metropolitan University, which is formerly known as Ryerson University. Two blocks south, you can see the Eaton Center right here, Yang and Dundas Square, to the proximity, pretty much walking distance to Toronto main campus in St. George. 
and here is the Art Gallery of Ontario. And to the south, you can also find the St. Lawrence Market, CN Tower, and pretty much walking distance to the lakeshore. Here's another picture of how close they are between Ryerson University or Toronto Metropolitan University and University of Toronto. As you can see, the location is right on the Dundas and Yang subway station. And of course, there's streetcars on Dundas Street and Eaton Center, Massey Hall, and so on. Reason number two, exceptional quality design. Here you see the building that has a beautiful architectural design and quickly you see there's a theme of brass color along the edges which make it very elegant and luxurious and a little detail here you can see that they are structured with the full glass structure here with this you will have a lot of lights going into the unit you can see there's a very good vibrant view to the south into the lake and to the many skyscrapers and beautiful scene in toronto next we have some rendering of the lobby there's another rendering along the lounge in the lobby here's the game room next we have some outdoor area and here is the sky terrace area and patio along with the gym and yoga studios now moving on to reason number three which is reputable developers we probably touched upon that earlier in the video so we have reserved properties and capital developments as the developers and here is a quick overview and the portfolio and the history they have with the reserved properties feel free to pause the video if you want to take a look some of the highlights same story with the um, capital developments which is a very very reputable builder as well and moving on to the ibi group is the global firm of the architects and engineers designers and technology for this vibrant building in 8 elm and yang reason number four massive amenity program here's the site plan and the lobby entrance from elm street and yang street next we have the fitness area and the lobby and next we have social and the co-working space feel free to pause the video if you want to check out the details and here we have the theater area and the private and dining rooms and next we have the games room and the kids and pet zone area and finally we have the 56th floor the sky club where you can find the outdoor sky club terrace reason number five unbeatable floor plans this came a long way from an experienced builder that had the investor in mind. The floor plans are perfectly designed so that there are no wasted spaces and they are practical. The den area of condo unit is designed mostly with a window so that it can be easily converted to a bedroom if necessary. Please reach out to me with the contact information on the description down below for all the floor plans price list that are available as of now. Reason number six, forever views. To the south, there are zoning restrictions in downtown Toronto for building with a maximum height of 35 stories tall. Any unit that are above the 35th floor facing south have a forever view of downtown Toronto. The CN Tower, large skyscrapers, and the lake are all visible. This means the unit from this project will hold their value very well in the long run. Usually prices appreciate much faster than anywhere outside of Toronto. Reason number seven, rental market is on fire and will continue as Toronto continues to grow. This simply means the record high for immigration coming to Toronto, which includes many international students and other immigrants that are hungry for our employment opportunities. The rental market here will remain hot for a foreseeable future, especially in downtown Toronto. Reason number eight, five year delivery date, which is approximately an additional year of asset growth. The completion date is expected in the spring of 2027. The usual completion time for a pre-construction in downtown is about four years time. It means you get an additional year for asset growth. If you are a wise investor, you always look for long deposit structure and a long completion date to maximize the profit for investment such as this. So there you have it. I think this is going to be a fantastic project to do the location which is close to almost everything in downtown Toronto. Schools, hospital, entertainment district, financial district, and so on. This project is anticipated completion date will be in spring of 2027 and they have a very long deposit structure of 15% of the purchase price within the 540 days meaning coming up to 2 years to get the 15% and the last 5% due on occupancy. Getting a long deposit structure and long completion date will be a perfect scenario for a good investment. Most pre-construction in downtown Toronto 
easily exceeds 1800 to 1900 a square feet nowadays but 8 elm surpasses many expectations and it is priced very nicely at 1600 to 700 foot which is almost unheard of in the prime downtown location close to Yangon Dundas as I explained earlier the units are also perfect for investment with one of the best floor plans available and paired with good pricing I think this is one of the best investment condo pre-construction this year thus far please contact a AV Team Real Estate for floor plans and price list and to reserve your unit today. This AM has all the best ingredients to become one of the best investments which include location, price, floor plans and reputable developers. Do you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us. I hope you enjoyed the content of this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.